So I don't know if you can remember what it looked like under here before this happened. Let me go back to an angle that you might recognize. So we've re-stumped and now I'm digging out to a um, level that after paving is a good standing height. Well, reasonable standing height, about 2.1 meters. Hang on, darling. Uh, and yeah, I did think about putting beams in instead of those posts in the middle there to open up the space. Still am thinking about that. The problem is, or was, that to span that far, to, to span that far, would have had to have had about a two or even 300 mil um, beam across the top, which would have affected the standing height. But I've since thought, and I've got to research it, but these are basically 100 by 100s. What if I put another 100 by 100 right next to it? Would that um, be able, Would that improve the, the load-bearing beam span, and then enable me to remove that post and that one, and that one, and that one? So I don't know yet. Failing that. Um, just stay with that. I mean, it's only a storage space for now anyway under here once the pavings are in and the retaining wall back there. I've uh, got to saw back this um, concrete slab uh, so that it also can go down to the right level. And then we're still thinking about this wall. Do we keep that wall there? Which obviously we'd like to do. But if that wall was to move back to, to there, then the sun, you can see the sun at the moment, and it's about, I don't know, 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. The sun reaches back into here, and that becomes quite a light space, and we could just put windows at this wall. Big job, really, breaking up all these rocks, cleaning them up and moving them back there and relaying them. But anticipation for in, in, in anticipation of such a move, we had a foundation poured here. Rightio, so, because that wall is not really solved, partly to do with what we do with this deck. If we walk up to the deck, it definitely needs replacing. At the very least, we've pulled up all the plastic and fiberboard to reveal what used to be a bitumen covered floor. You can see it's got a bit of rot going on, so at the very least, replacing boards here. But we've still got the problem of this being exposed to the to the rain. Temporarily I've got this tarp to cover it all up. But what we're wanting to do, or thinking to do, is this eave is big generous eave here. If we went back two tiles worth, that brings us back to about here. And we get about a foot of height, or 300 mil of height. So that's enough for us to give us the frame for what would be the awning with perhaps a transparent roof so that the sun can keep coming through to cover this deck and to cover the storage and laundry space below that. That seems to be the best thing to do. The only thing we're concerned about is that the posts and beams will obscure some of the view. Not, too, not terribly though. So that would be our next move, is either side of the house go back two tiles worth, take away the crappy um, guttering and fascia here, go back two tiles worth, cut the eaves, structure it so an awning comes out, changing the pitch to about five degrees at the uh, least, and reaching out over here, to the, to out to about, probably out as far as we can take it actually, out to here, requiring some fairly big posts here, or a frame down here, and then posts on top of that frame. 
but then you can see we've got a walk, sheltered walking space down below, up and around. The ultimate idea is to link this eave up, 45 degree turn it and cover that deck there and a bit more. And then I don't know if you can see out the back door there, there's another awning already existing. Let's go and have a look at that. But to surround the house with that five degree awning, and that would be giving us uh, quite an expanded sheltered area for us to think about what we might do in the um, you know in this space paving here this gets the most amount of Sun especially after we clear away those branches up there the Sun will come through here in the winter but we want to see out the summer and see how beneficial that shade is for us and you can see here there's the awning so currently that awning sits right at the end of the eave. It doesn't appear so because this room has been expanded out under that eave. We really need to come without you can see, okay, okay. You can see the eaves back here. So if we went back two tiles, we get about a foot's extra height, and that can reach out here for a retained wall with drainage and etc. And windows up here. You can see we need it with all that stuff. Okay, that's the uh, that's the general update.